How to identify the Pakistan Navy Tariq class destroyer, formerly known as the Royal Navy's Type 21 class or Amazon class frigate. This video clip is of the Royal Navy Type 21 prior to being sold to Pakistan, where they would become the Tariq class. Sorry, I could not find any videos of them in Pakistan service. Now let's look at the specifications for PNS Tariq, that is the general specifications. Displacement 3700 tons, beam 41 feet 9 inches or 12.73 meters, draft 19 feet 6 inches or 5.94 meters, speed 32 knots or 60 k's or 37 miles an hour, range 4000 nautical miles or 7400 k's, that's 4600 miles at 17 knots or 31 k's 20 miles per hour. Complement 192 armament includes one Vickers 4.5 inch that is 140 mm 55 caliber Mark 8 anti ship anti aircraft gun, two 20 mm Oerlikan cannon. Now, of course, these smaller weapons like this they can be, such as the 20 mm and even the phalanx can be replaced fairly easily. Now, phalanx CIWS may be fitted if required. Note, the following missiles may change depending on the ship. Four Harpoon SSMs, a 6-cell LY-60N SAM, and, a, and four Azab ASMs. Torpedoes may include lightweight torpedoes, and the ship also can carry aircraft. It can carry a helicopter up to the size of the Lynx, and it can carry one helicopter of that size, and a UAV can also be carried. And now on to recognition features of this vessel. We have two enclosed masts. We have the main mast on the forward superstructure, right behind the bridge, and directly behind the weapons director. The main mast has four flat sides, and it is wider at the base and tapers slightly towards the top. And we can see the main mast in that yellow oval. And we have the aft mast at the front of the single funnel, and the aft mast is triangular shaped, quite a bit different from how the ship was in the service of the Royal Navy and we can see the aft mast there in that green oval. And of course forward we have a single 4.5 inch gun and a rounded slightly pointed topped turret and you can see that gun there in that green oval. You'll notice I don't spend too much time looking at the containerized weapon systems such as those harpoons there just because they can be removed so easily. When it comes to a main gun it takes a little, a little bit more effort to remove one of those. So a main gun is worthy of using as an identification feature in my opinion. And speaking of weapon systems I say here note the different weapon systems on the two Tarak that is type 21 ships in the foreground. The main gun is common to both or on both however the other prominent weapon systems differ. Look at the different radars on the foremast in this picture as well. As I said, when it comes to these containerized weapon systems and radars, be wary about using them as identification features. Now, as we can see, in this picture, we have three ships. We have the two top 21s in the foreground, and we have the Oliver Perry class in the background, or the FFG-7 class in the background. Now, looking at the middle ship, that is the 186 Tipu Sultan. Note the difference at the rear of the superstructure from 185 Shah Jahan. And by that, you'll, you can look, if you look at those blue ovals on these two ships, you'll see what I mean. How the structure on the Shah Jahan is more open at the rear than that of the Tipu Sultan. That is, look at those blue ovals there and you'll see what I mean. We can see here that these ships have a long, low superstructure. As I'm reading this, just follow along with those yellow arrows. The bridge is rounded at the front. The bridge is flat to the base of the fire control director platform, which is outlined in that green oval. It continues on then to the main mast. After the bridge superstructure drops until just before the funnel, where it rises again to meet the funnel. And you can see that if you follow those yellow arrows. We can see here the ship has a short, squat, heavily sloped funnel top. And the funnel is rounded and oval shaped. You can see that in the green oval. And this is the Pakistani naval ship Shah Jahan. After the funnel, the superstructure extends, then drops to the hangar roof. At the hangar roof, it slants downwards before dropping to the flight deck. And you can see that if you follow those yellow arrows. 
So the ship has a raked bow, the forecastle slopes and joins with a superstructure. At this point the hull and superstructure blend. The hull rises to a raised deck just in front of the bridge. Usually either SAM or anti-surface or anti-ship missiles are mounted in this location. The hull continues aft, drops down to the flight deck. After the flight deck, drops down again to the aft quarter deck in that yellow oval. And if you follow those green arrows there, you'll see what I mean. Now that concludes the recognition part of this video. And now we'll go on to a couple of other video clips and a little more information on these vessels. The Tarak class destroyers are former Royal Navy Type 21 frigates obtained by Pakistan from the United Kingdom in the 1993-94 time frame. In Royal Navy service, these ships were classified as frigates that are classed as destroyers by the Pakistan Navy after modernization. The Type 21 or Amazon class frigates entered service with the United Kingdom beginning in the 1970s prior to entering service with Pakistan. A total of eight were completed and two were lost during the Falklands conflict with Argentina in 1982. The remaining six would all enter service with the Pakistani Navy. PNS Tariq was named after a great Muslim conqueror, Tariq bin Ziyad. I'm sorry if I've crucified that name, but I'm sure I have. His conquest of Gibraltar led to the extension of Muslim rule all over Europe. The life of Tariq bin Ziyad is full of achievements, which are a source of great inspiration to Muslims all over the world. Sailors of the Pakistani Navy are no exception. They take great pride in serving on board their ship that has been named after one of the greatest leaders in Islamic history. The PN, that is the Pakistani Navy, replaced the Exocet missiles with the American Harpoon Block 1C with a range of more than 120 Ks. Additionally, the British Seacat SAM was replaced with the American Phalanx CIWS. Other ships had the Chinese LY-60N SAM, that is surface-to-air missile, Hunting Eagle, is the naval version system fitted. This SAM has a 33 kilogram warhead and a range of, about, of around 20 kilometers at low to medium altitude. The semi-active homing missile uses a passive seeker and guidance from the ship's tracking radar to intercept the target. These form or this form of tracking often allows for a lighter missile rather than a larger active homing weapon. However, it ought to be noted that these mentioned weapons can all be changed if needed, which, as I have said previously, is why these particular weapon systems ought not to be used as primary ID features, rather use them as secondary features to recognize specific ships. Initially, three of the ships carried Harpoon and Phalanx, while the other three carried the LY-60 SAM and Phalanx. Since the 90s, these systems have at times changed with the ship and various mission changes. In the service of the Pakistani Navy, the Type 21s have primarily a defensive mission extending to just past the continental shelf. Considering the limited ADA, that is the air defense armament, on, on these ships, that is a sound decision. Just as the British had difficulty fitting new, more powerful SAM systems such as Seawolf, the Pakistan Navy has also faced similar issues. However, it seems the Pakistan Navy have learned from the British experience in the Falklands and intends to operate under friendly air cover as much as possible. Pakistan makes good use of these vessels in the ASW, that is anti-submarine warfare, and the anti-ship role. Here, the lightweight torpedo tubes, anti-submarine warfare helicopters, which can include the capable Lynx and Harpoon surface-to-surface -surface missiles, can be put to good use. With India's submarine forces increasingly capable and in now including nuclear attack submarines, or SSNs, and ballistic missile submarines, SSBNs, Having a capable and credible ASW force is seen as a must by the Pakistani Navy, and for good reason. All ships maintained the fixed Mark 8 4.5 inch gun mount forward. Pakistan acquired the remaining Type 21 ships, replacing the American Brook and Garcia classes. Standardizing on one class allowed the Pakistani Navy to streamline, to streamline a lot of the logistics of the frigates. More than $60 million was spent by Pakistan modernizing the ships after their acquisition from the Royal Navy. These ships will likely be phased out of service with Pakistan by the early 2020s.